Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. I actually remembered what day it is this time, guys. <laughs> um, so today we are working on a family home. I spent all weekend building um, like a crazy woman. I've literally built like four builds this weekend, don't know how. <laughs> um, but yeah, today we are working on a family home. Um, this house is for two parents, a grandmother, twin, children girls and a toddler boy no not toddler an infant boy got there in the end that was a mouthful um so yes an infant boy and twin children girls are the children of this household um i think this is a really nice house i don't usually do stuff like on um levels necessarily um obviously sometimes but not like this and i think it turned out really nice um i am following a image of Pinterest as a guide for this house. I didn't follow it exactly um, because it's kind of impossible to do in game to a point. Um, but I kind of took inspiration from it. I kind of ran with it. Um, <laughs> I did struggle a little bit with this balcony part. Um, I did do that off camera because it took me quite a while to get that right. But we got there in the end. Um, I do really like how it turned out. I think the whole shape of it, generally speaking, is really nice. Um, there's like enough going on, you know? I feel like sometimes when you build, there's like not enough shapes, or there's too many shapes, but I kind of feel like this is the best of both worlds. Um, I did struggle a bit with that section, as you can see, so I do that off camera, because um, that did take me like a good 20 minutes to do. Um, I don't like to film the bits that I'm unsure of, because it would be a lot of editing. Um, but then once I've made it, I kind of wish that I had so you could see the process because I'm still learning as well, you know? I don't know everything about building. Um, but yeah, it would have taken me a long time, so this video would be probably way too long. So I chose to not include it for today, um, but maybe next time we'll include all of my errors and <laughs> we could just make fun of me together. <laughs> I'm joking, kind of. <laughs> um, so now we're just working on the outside. I really love doing the exterior builds, as you guys know, it's probably my favorite part. Um, the terrain paint was a bit of an irritation because it was on a slope, but I think it turned out nicely. Um, I really like working on levels now, I realise, so I might do that more often because it kind of feel like it gives the build more depth. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm so used to working on like a flat surface that it's quite nice to have a bit of leverage to it. I don't know, it's just me, but I do think it looks really pretty. Um, and it's like a perfect family home. Like, sometimes I make them and I'm like, I like it, but I don't know, there's something that I don't like, but I actually really like all of this house, so that was a good thing. Um, I do actually decide to use purple flowers as well for once, usually it's always white, so I had a touch of these like fluffy white flowers as well to make it a bit more white, because I can't not have black and white in my build. <laughs> Everything shades. So the fact that we have a bit of blue and purple is like pushing the boat out for me, guys. Um, <laughs> I do end up putting a garage here in a second. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do with this area because I did want to have an access point from at the front of the house to the back garden, but it just didn't really work out like that. And that's okay, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I do end up putting a garage here and I think it makes it look quite nice. Um, I think it would have looked a bit odd without one. Um, I, there was like a really big gap and I was like, mm, I don't, I don't want it to be too gappy. <laughs> So I do end up putting a garage here, which I put some exercise equipment in in the end, I do believe, and the laundry is also out here. Um, so yeah, I like how it's like a really high platform to get up to the front door, and it is fully functional. I have play tested it as well, sometimes I don't play test them, um, but I have play tested this, and everything works fine, so that's always nice. Um, <laughs> would be a pain if it didn't after all of that time, um, but yeah. I think garages are probably literally the easiest thing to make in-game. I tend to do six tiles across and then whatever back, but always six tiles across because then you can put these little pillars and make it look like there's a door. Um, it's a little tip for y'all. Um, it's very laggy today. Oh, why is that? I'm sorry if you hear the click of my mouse in the background. I'm just trying to stop the lag of my video. Um, obviously, I'm watching it as I'm speaking, so it's a bit laggy because there's a lot of footage. I'm not sure why it's doing it though, but anyway. Um, so now we're working on the kitchen, and the kitchen is from the Home Chef Hustle. I am so in love with this pack. Um, it's a stuff pack, in case you guys haven't been playing lately, but how gorgeous is it? It's just so perfect. Um, I think my hob just disappeared. Did I have a, I say hob, it's not a hob, it's an oven hood. You know what I mean? Um, I did mess around with the counters for a little bit, and I was like, yeah, we can't have a seat that's that tiny, so. <laughs> 
I don't remember what I ended up doing, but it worked out in the end. I think I did that, but um, I do really like it. I think it's really cute. I think this table worked really well. I think it's from Eco Lifestyle. Um, I just like this whole kitchen, to be honest. Um, I do wish they had added a corner cabinet. I've been using the, um, the smaller one that is above the oven um, to go in the corner and I've like, doubled it up. Fortunately, it's not glitchy, but I don't like that it's just a shelf. I kind of feel like it needs like a corner and a shelf, you know? I like that they've got the shelf, um, but I just don't feel like that's the only thing that should be there because it kind of leaves the corner empty and I'm like, oh. Um, but other than that, that's my only fault in this whole thing, but I think it is gorgeous. It's probably one of my favorite stuff packs. I just think the color scheme is gorgeous. Um, as you guys know, I love my kitchens. Um, I did try and do like a funky thing with the microwave, but it didn't end up working. It did work, and then it glitched after a while, so yeah, we had to remove that and change it around a bit. But I think I did that off camera, um, so that was kind of gutting, but hey ho. Um, so yes, I love the colour swatches of this kitchen. I think it is stunning. It's always, I mean, I say always, the stuff they've come out with lately is just gorgeous. I think every single texture is so much more detailed, and you can actually like really see it and <laughs> it sounds weird but it feels like an actual like real life item not something in a game um, whereas when you look at some of the early stuff it's very like plastic looking um i still love it don't get me wrong and it's kind of like a different vibe for a house um but i think the new textures that they come out with are absolutely gorgeous and i'm such a fan <laughs> i love this pack um but yeah, now we're just working on the dining room. I kind of wanted to have it very open plan, so the dining room and, well, they have an art room, which you'll see in a second. Um, but we have an art room when you first come in, because I kind of feel like the mother and the grandmother are painters. And that's kind of their thing that they do together when the kids are at school. Um, so they've got a little art room. I say little, is massive. Um, <laughs> So the art room leads to the dining room and then the dining room leads to the kitchen and then the kitchen leads to the lounge and I just think it's very nice because it's all very open plan. Um, it feels very homey. Um, I do end up putting a little bit of a toy room in here. We have some desks as well because I kind of like to have the kids do their homework in there sometimes. Um, but we do have some computers there as well for the adults if they wish to use them. Um, but yeah, I kind of always forget to add like an office space, so I kind of thought maybe we'll put it downstairs, so at least I remember to put it in. Which is handy because there wasn't enough space upstairs to put one, so we do have a little tiny office space in here as well. And of course a kids play area because why not? I need some skill building for the little ones. Um, and I just think it's cute when they can play when the parents are cooking. And you know, I just think it's really homely and like family orientated and I just really like it. Um, so yeah, I do end up putting like a, a kiddie corner over here. I just think it's really sweet. Um, I love this tent. I always get a lot of questions about where it's from. It's actually from Dream Home Decorator, I think. <laughs> I could be wrong me saying that now. But yeah, it's kind of like an unusual thing to have in that pack, but I really like it. And I'm like so glad that it's in that pack. Um, so yeah, now we're just moving on to my tiny little cupboard that I do. <laughs> I kind of felt like I just needed to include it. It's like. 10 seconds worth but I just really like doing the cupboards like this it's um, also from Dream Home Decorator um, and I just really like putting the shoes in the little cupboards like that I just think it's really cute um, so now we're moving on to the art room it was a lot of talking very fast uh, I did put the items in here before filming because I wasn't sure where all of them were <laughs> um, but yeah this is kind of like their art space between um, the mum and the grandmother and it's kind of like their escape <laughs> escape room escape space from like life um they do have obviously the porched area the deck in part that they can go out onto as well which is always quite nice um so yes i just i really like the space there's not a lot in here it's kind of like just kind of all over the place but i kind of feel like a lot of art spaces are a bit like that it's kind of like no structure necessarily and just kind of lots of color and a lot going on so anyway <laughs> now we're moving on to the upstairs Finally, um, we're working on the twin daughter's rooms. I really like this room. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with this cupboard. The wardrobe, I just think it is gorgeous. It kind of like goes with everything. And the baby pink looks so good in this room. Um, this rug is from Pastel Pop. Um, I do believe the bunk beds are from Growing Together. Um, I can't remember where those tables are from specifically. I'm trying to see at the bottom. Oh, I think it's from Snowy Escape. Um, yeah, Snowy Escape. A lot of Growing Together in here. Um, I just love growing together. 
I just think it suits like every single kid's room ever. Um, I just think it's so cute and the colour schemes go so well together. Um, I didn't want to have the twins be like exactly the same, they are going to be identical twins, um, but I didn't want this stuff to be completely similar. So we do have a bit of difference on colour schemes, like their bedding and stuff, I didn't want it to be like exactly the same, but they do have most stuff the same. I just thought it was kind of cute that it matched as well, so I'm trying to find a happy medium balance for that. Um, but yeah, I do really like it. And these stickers on the wall I just think are adorable. Um, so yeah. <laughs> now we move on to the grandmother's bathroom. Um, I really like how this turned out. They kind of all look the same, but I think it's kind of like a very fresh look. And I love this wallpaper or tiling. I just think it's really nice. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not much going on. They kind of all look the same, but it's still very like sleek and fresh. So that's all that's needed. Um, so now we're working on the grandmother's room. I really like this room. I say that about all of them, but like sometimes they build a room and I'm like, mm, it's okay, but you know, it could do with something else. But I actually do really like this room. I think it kind of feels like an older ladies' room, <laughs> not in a weird way, but like it's got enough stuff in it, but not over cluttered, you know? I kind of feel like it would be her safe space when she's like fed up with the kids, like screaming. <laughs> she can kind of like go and relax in here. I did add a few little touches of like her husband who maybe has recently passed. I put some shoes under the bedside table, which I thought was kind of a cute touch to it, kind of sad, but um, I don't know, <laughs> I just wanted to. Um, so yeah, I like the colour scheme of this room as well, I think it all ties together very nicely, and the Strangerville rug kind of like ties in the bedside tables and the bed in really nicely, so I just have to include that as well. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the little baby's room, he is an infant and he's got a very like, um, woodlandy room. I just think it's really cute. Um, I didn't want to make the room too big. Um, I kind of feel like sometimes the baby's rooms are a bit too big and they don't really need that much space. Um, I kind of feel like it was like a, a good sized room. <laughs> it's enough to fill um, without it being too crowded, <laughs> too um, large in scale, but I just think it's really cute. Um, I love making baby rooms, I just think they're adorable. And I'm so glad that we've got cribs now, or cots, whatever. Um, I just think it adds like such a nice element to the game. I can't believe we didn't have infants this time last year, like that's insane. <laughs> um, we really had them since March, crazy. That actually came out on my birthday, funny enough, which was like the best present. <laughs> but unfortunately it wasn't even on my computer, so I couldn't play them. So that was kind of gutting, but <laughs> it was a good present. Um, but yeah, now we're just working on the parents' bedroom. This is the last bedroom. Um, we do have a bathroom after this. And then it's just the exterior of the building. I went very high then, exterior. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this room. I think the colour scheme works well for this room as well. And I like that it's got a balcony. Um, and I did put a crib in here as well, like a travel cot for the infant to stay in here if he's getting fussy. Um, I just really like it. I just love this house as a whole. It feels very family orientated and cozy and just I can see myself playing in it, which I really like. Um, when I'm building sometimes I'm like, I like the house but I probably wouldn't play it and then it kind of feels like, not pointless, but a bit silly to spend so much time doing something if I'm not actually going to use it. So I tend to try and make them as like functional for myself as possible if I am building for myself. Um, and yes, this is the final bathroom, and then we'll move on to the exterior of the build. We do have a pool, and we have some kiddie equipment, um, some um, swings, and a, some monkey bars. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am going to end the voiceover here for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think it is absolutely adorable, um, personally. <laughs> And yes, I will be adding the screenshots to Instagram, so feel free to go over there, at LauraAbbeyX. And also guys, don't forget, I do have a shell challenge out on my gallery, which will be toured in 14, 13 days. Um, so yes, be sure to check that out, and I will be touring them all over on my Twitch channel. So if you would like to be fe featured, yes, featured, <laughs> I can't talk. Or if you'd like to be featured on my Twitch channel, be sure to have a go at that little challenge I say little it's quite a big build but <laughs> so yes I thank you all so very much for watching I hope you enjoy the end of this video and I shall see you guys tomorrow with yet another family home because I've built so many <laughs> for the weekend so we're just firing them out so yes I hope you all have a wonderful day and I shall see you guys next time don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you'd like to and I shall see you guys probably tomorrow <laughs> right thanks guys have a lovely day bye We are
behold how our fates are growing 